In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about the assignment apps. Now, the assignment apps in and of themselves are really there to help us as the instructors manage the activities and assignments. Some of the apps do allow us to create content and homework assignments, but most of the apps here are just for changing the options and settings and things of that nature. So um, I want to remind you about one thing. Your mind tap might look a little bit different than my mind tap as far as what assignment apps you have available. So for example, this is uh, Intro to College Success. So the assignment apps that I have available are CNOW and Applia. However, if you're teaching um, composition, for example, you might have also Questia. Or if you're teaching math and computing, you might have SAM. So if your assignment apps are a little bit different than mine, that's okay. When you go in and play it with your course, you're going to find the functionality is very similar to that. So I want to show you how I use the assignment apps to really enhance the MindTap experience and engagement for my students. So let's say we were covering chapter number five. And you can see this week, chapter number five. And one of the things that I like about assignments is that my students can look at this right away and see what counts towards a grade. So they know they have to do this one minute um, paper and then it, within the chapter they have six activities that count towards a grade and they have an APLIA assignment. But this is, would probably be overwhelming. This is a lot of things due in one week and I wouldn't assign all of these things. So let's just say I wanted to change something in the chapter for all of these things that are signable. Now here's something that I like. My students can click on this and it will actually take them right into the textbook to where the assignment is due. So once again, at the point of context, they can go in and work on their assignment within the chapter. Even if they didn't take the time to read, they'll have to read before and after to do the work. But let's say I didn't want all of these things due. You can see I've already changed a couple of them to practice. But if I go to the edit button, which is where I would normally go, the only thing it's going to allow me to edit here is the title. So I could call this, like let's say maybe I, I number my journal entries different, or I want to give them a description, or I want to change the dates this is available, so I only want them to do it during this week. I could change that right there, make it available, or the location. But it doesn't allow me to do things like change the point totals or um, set it up just as practice. If I want to do that, I have to go over to the apps. So if I come over here, you can see I have a See Now homework app. And it's going to open up, and then it's going to um, allow me to choose which assignment I actually want to work on. So I'm in chapter number five. So let's go to chapter number five here. It'll allow me to print it out. It'll allow me to save something that I've done. But I'm going to go into the Edit button and then to Edit Options. And then it's going to give me a whole list of things that I could actually change if I wanted to. So for example, I usually allow my students three takes on their homework assignment. Um, if, however, I wanted to use this instead as a quiz, I could give them only a certain number of minutes to take it. So I could say once you click on open it, you only have 10 minutes to answer these questions. Um, maybe I don't like how many points. I think it should be worth more points or less points. I can go through and change the points. Here's what I'm most likely to change though. Change it to practice. So rather than getting any points, I'll say I just want this activity to, um, this snapshot to be practiced. I can allow the best score or an average of the scores or the last scores to be used, whatever I want. I can say I want them to get feedback as they're doing the activity or wait until afterwards or have them do two attempts before I give them feedback. So there's lots of different things that I could change um, within the settings. So the thing that I changed is I just changed it to practice. So I've changed it to practice. I'm going to click Done. And then what you're going to see is, in one second, it's going to actually change right here in my learning path for my students. So they're going to realize that this um, snapshot, and it'll change in just one second, is going to switch from counts towards a grade to practice. 
So we can see that it's changed it and now it says that it's practice. So my students could go in and use it. I change a lot of things to practice that I'm going to use in class. So maybe we'll do some of these, these skills snapshots together. Let me give you two quick um, hints as you're using these assignments apps and making some changes. The first one is to assign due dates and that's a really great um, teaching tool and the reason that I say that is because when you assign a due date so for example if you go into the week view you'll see the things that are due it says nothing's due because I haven't assigned anything for this week but if you assign due dates it's going to populate into the mobile app so if students have alarm sets when they have due dates it's that reminder that I've got an assignment or a project due so it's really important to assign due dates I know that um, as my students are developing especially for example in a college success they're really trying to work on their time management skills and it's such a great help the second thing I want to suggest the second thing that I want to suggest has to do with page numbers so you're probably already familiar with the fact that there are no page numbers in the MindTap ebook. The reason is, as I add things and customize and enhance this ebook, it would change the page numbers. So if I added an introduction here, a video, what would happen is that it would change the page numbers on everything. So if I said go to page 32 to find your assignment, it might not actually be page 32 for that course. So just as a reminder, there are not page numbers but what there are are section numbers. So just reminder to tell your students go to section 5-4 or go to section 5-5 rather than giving them page numbers when you're using the ebook. I hope this was helpful. I'm looking forward to talking with you in the next video as we continue to explore apps to really engage with our students.